trying to eat better in the new year, then eating more of one type of food might carry you through. Welcome back to Studio 5. Personal fitness trainer Kelly Betridge is with me to refocus our attention on one diet building block. What's the premise here, Kelly? All right, we're focusing on protein today. Protein. And how it can keep you fuller longer, help prevent those cravings and just how can all the benefits, there are so many benefits to having high protein diet. But is that the main benefit, just the sustainability of the food? We hear, we hear trainers like yourself always push the protein because it gives you that satisfied feeling, right? Yeah, um, there's a lot more benefits than that. You're gonna have better hair, skin, nails. You're gonna lose, lose more weight if you're eating more protein. You're gonna be able to tone up a lot better. It's gonna help prevent soreness. So protein is super important to make sure you're getting a lot of it in your diet. What's the easiest way? to get protein. If you're a mom at home and you're trying to really put forward maybe a more healthy home for the new year, what's the easiest way to put more protein on the family table? Um, I mean, the easiest, fastest on the go, protein shakes, they're super convenient. Yeah. You know, you can just grab and go. But um, there's a lot of ways you can incorporate it. I think when you typically think of protein, you think a slab of meat, and mm -hmm. it doesn't have to just be a slab of meat. Um, you know, turkey, fish, turkey, um, Chicken, chicken. Is good yeah, one, right? a good high high protein and low low fat options. But there's also a lot of ways you can incorporate. Um, Greek yogurt is a great way that you can incorporate more protein okay, in your see, diet. Okay, I, I wouldn't think of reaching for Greek yogurt. So that's something that you can easily stock in your refrigerator and yes. have on hand. You've brought a great dip. So you've got some creative ways to work protein into our diets, into our day, into our foods. You've got a dip you say packs the protein punch. Yeah. So one cup of Greek yogurt has about 22 grams of protein. Nice. That's as much as a protein shake, yeah. a piece of chicken. So loaded with protein, all I did was mix some plain Greek yogurt with a ranch packet. Okay. And we've got a nice uh, ranch dip here, a bunch of veggies you can dip it in. May I? Yeah. So you're getting the flavor that you love, right, with the ranch, but mm -hmm. you're getting that protein through, I kind of loaded up there. And you don't have to feel bad about loading up because it's a healthy, high protein dip. Mm, pardon so. my crunch, that's really good. <laughs> the tanginess of the yogurt really complements the flavor of the ranch too. Okay. Yeah, so Greek right. is an awesome one. Tell me what these are over here. All right, we got protein balls. Um, so good for grab and go. I make these weekly, eat them daily. Just great to keep in the fridge, grab when you're in a hurry. What's you in just them? need a snack. Protein, um, protein powder, Kodiak cakes. I use that stuff for everything. Okay. Um, agave, chocolate chips, and some oats. Pretty, pretty simple, but really, really yummy and good. good in case people snack. don't know, what are Kodiak cakes? Um, so it's a high protein, like I use it as mil as a replacement for flour, but okay. it really it's a pancake mix or a waffle mix, but I use it in the place of flour. I use it for everything. Mm -hmm. So it's in these yummy cookie bars we've got over here. I use it in everything. So you so. keep these protein balls in the fridge mm -hmm. and they're ready to go. You mentioned the bars. Tell us how you pull those yes. together. So growing up, my favorite dessert was always um, blondies, butterscotch yes, blondies. Me too. My favorite. So I wanted to find a healthy way, but you know, you eat too much and then you feel sick, and especially after the holidays, all the junk food that we've had. Oh, we all just feel gross right now. Yeah, you just feel terrible. Yeah. So I wanted to come up with some treats that were that still you still feel great after eating, mm -hmm. but you still get all of that, all of the the flavor in it. You're so. satisfying your sweet tooth, but not mm -hmm. feeling as guilty about it. So what 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 are the ingredients at play here? Um, super easy. So we've just got a cup of. Kodiak cakes. Okay. You weren't kidding. You do use that a lot. <laughs> I <Yeah>. do. <laughs> uh, just a scoop of protein powder. So you're putting the powder actually in the mix? In the mix. Okay. I use protein powder is a great way to add in to treats and different, a lot of different ways to get that extra protein. Do you, do you taste it? You don't when you add in all the right stuff to it. Okay. So enter well, the chocolate chips. <laughs> right? You can yes. Okay. You can you can be the judge of that. I'll let you try it out. Does it change out. the texture? Does it make it gritty or? No, it, it doesn't. If you mix it, mix it right. You mix it well. Okay. Then, then it doesn't. Okay. So okay. We're just gonna add. Yep. I'll get out of your way. Sorry. Some peanut butter here. Mm-hmm. And what should we look for in a good protein powder? There's so many different varieties and products out there. Um, the one I really like to use is is Idofit because it's got. 80 calories and 20 grams of protein. That okay. means all of the calories are coming from protein. You want to make sure that you're going with a whey protein. Okay. Um, but yeah. All right, mixing that in. And is this then, the final ingredients to my left here? Yes. Okay. This is some agave, right? Yeah. So you can use agave or honey, either For a one. Pinch of sweetness and then vanilla. Mm -hmm. And then do you let these set up or bake them or what's the? So you all you do is mix it up. Oh, stick it in a pan. That's it. Put it in the fridge and cut them up. No, no baking. Oven required. Super easy. Okay. While you're finishing those off, I want to ask you about the popcorn because 
This is new to me. Most people put butter and salt on their yes. popcorn. You're gonna sprinkle a little protein powder? Yes. Really? And it actually is really good. It sounds like that sounds bizarre. It, yeah. <laughs> but it works out in the end. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's really good. All so. right. And we're sneaking it in there. And then point me to the salad. What have you done here to play up the protein? So uh, you take a, typically look at this and you think, where's the protein? Um, obviously, you can add in some chicken to sure. get some extra protein. But if you combine the spinach with, there's almonds on top uh -huh. of here, that's going to make a complete protein. With the, the two The two, two combined, yeah. together. Yeah. So you can still get protein without eating just, just meat all the time. All so. right, Kelly, good ways to sneak in that protein as more of us make a pledge this time of year to be more healthy in our homes and in our lives. Where can people get more information on your health recommendations? Um, you can follow my Instagram. I post a lot of recipes on there, Trainer Kelly, or um, you can email me at trainingwithkelly at gmail.com. I'm happy to answer any health and fitness questions. All right, thanks for the inspiration. We appreciate it.